What's going on everyone? We're here with Big Nathan inside the Build Fast Formula HQ home garage gym and today we are talking about the Texas Strength Systems Combo Rack. Uh, kind of specifically we're going to talk about this exact rack that Big Nathan shows. Also we're going to talk about a little bit about the idea of uh, combo racks in the home gym. Is that the right choice? Is that what you should do? Should it be on your list? Uh, so let's jump right in. First of all, Big Nathan, how long have you had this TSS combo? I think I've had this for three years, probably. So you've had it like, for... Th uh, probably like almost exactly three years. Okay, so you've had it for three years. 2021, I think it came in May, so... I would say it's uh, in very awesome shape. Yeah. Like the paint, the finish, the powder coating on this all looks awesome. Overall, like my first thought walking in, this just looks like a really cool combo yeah, rack. And uh, this color, I wonder if they call... It's like the OD green, but I wonder if they call it dark green. I was just looking I, uh, and I think it I might be called dark, dark green. green. I don't remember what it was, but it was definitely the color that was yeah. popped the most to me. Yeah. So we talked about some other options. Um, you went with the TSS. It could have been ER, Ghost, Rogue. I don't know if all those were available options at the time, but what do you think ultimately? Why'd you pick the TSS combo i picked it at the time because it's what most comps use and a lot of other ones are more expensive so so the yeah. price was price right for what and you're doing. yeah just and it's a factor uh nathan's a power lifter you've competed yes. in several power lifting meets we've competed with you before um and so using what you're going to likely use in a competition matters yes. then too um the tss a few things that i noticed about it well first of all the price we talked about the price as a big factor it's a much better deal, honestly, when you bought it yeah. in 2021. Yep. We talked about you might have been all in for, what do you think, with the I face savers? The and rack shipping. was 2300 and then like just under 400 for the face savers. So he's in it for maybe like 2700 27, yeah. something like that. I checked pricing now. You get the rack. You have to buy the face saver separately on this one. They're an extra 400 bucks. So the rack is... Uh, about 2600 the face savers are 400 and then shipping to south dakota is 650 bucks on this thing so you're at over 3600 to get this landed at your doorstep today um, but we know a lot of equipment prices have gone up oh, yeah. over the last last three years so it's nothing crazy to uh see that price change um some parts about this combo rack that i'm noticing as i'm looking about it i talked about the overall look to it what i what i like uh, the spotter platform, I think it's um, exactly what it should be. Like, I don't really, th you know, some have like a bigger, more to it spot po spotter platform, and I don't think it's completely necessary, probably. So I think that the, works well. The, like, positioning of it is also good, because I feel like some it's of them... It's not too far back. The platform's so far back that the right. spotter is, like leaned completely over trying to help with right. the liftoff. This one gives you a better teabag experience as the lifter, oh, yeah. I think, when you're... Uh, <laughs> you like to get close. <laughs> everyone, you know? everyone gets more pleasure out of this spotter <laughs> position, but it does honestly seem like a safer uh, position than some of them where it is oriented a little bit further back. Yeah, because I think when I originally assembled it, I had it backwards. Okay. And I was like, that's not right. Okay. Um, other things, the uprights... They have the laser engraved numbering system on it, which looks good. Tiny little detail, but I do actually like the pins and how they're machined like that. They're ribbed for everyone's pleasure. Uh, it does actually just look just slightly cooler than if it wasn't like that. Another probably pretty important detail to a lot of people is the rollers on this. Both the high rollers and the, the bench rollers are vinyl rather than metal. And I, I don't know if it's an option or if they're always vinyl. I'm not really sure, but... Uh, those vinyl rollers would easily be replaceable. Yeah. The advantage there is you're not going to be wearing down the knurling on your barbell. If those are metal rollers on our combo at Massonomics Gym, they are metal rollers, and they do really wear down the knurling on that part of your barbell over time. Although that part of the knurling isn't really Probably all that essential. doesn't matter that much. <laughs> but when you spend a lot of money on good bars, you'd you just yeah. rather see the knurling not get worn away. And have you, you've never replaced these, I'm guessing? No. But you could. No. If I need you to. You always could yep. if you wanted to. When all you folks start coming and working yeah. out. <laughs> yep. And uh, they do roll pretty freely. They roll nicely like it, it feels good like it should. So do you squat out of this very often? Do you I, always squat out of it? Um, if I'm by myself, a lot of the time I'll go power rack. Okay. Just safety. Safety purposes. Yeah. But I would prefer to be in here. When um, you, 
it can do the like lean in if you're a that's, big that's, guy. That's what I'm kind of looking at is yep. some of the, the ways that this adjusts. So yeah, real so simple, if you want to take the bench out, you would just unscrew yep. this on each side and lift this right out. That's all there is to that. Not quite as convenient as the wheels on the Ghost. Right, but, so it's not wheeled, but overall this is this easy. Is overly not, heavy though too, yeah. which would make that uh, more manageable. The face savers have these same pins. Uh, I would say these are one inch hole adjustments on there as well as up here. We've got one inch adjustments, which, which is probably fairly standard on a combo rack. And then is this the adjustment for the in yeah, and out? So this can go in and out. Okay. That'll be lean in. Do so. you ever squat in? I tried it a couple times, yeah. but I don't, not wide enough. I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else do I want to look at on this? Do you, the face savers, if you squat in this, do you take the face savers out or do you no, leave them I'll in I'll leave there? them in. Okay. I, think there is. I don't think I've ever hit them before. Right. Right. So, you know, I don't know. I think that, you're technically right. supposed to take them out. Because we talked about safety, you know, you squatting in a power rack when, um, you're maybe the only one in here. I think some people maybe mistakenly think of these as a squat safety. No, it's not really like what a, they're at. They are a face saver for what I think that press. can turn into a death trap. Yeah, so. that's <laughs> very unsafe is actually what that turns into. Um, Do you? Yeah. We you could bolt this down. Yes, yeah, so it's got two bolts there and then the face savers have but them. But you choose not to bolt it I down. Don't. You do what a lot of people do is you've got a couple heavy dumbbells set there to keep yeah. this from moving. They do a pretty good job. Yeah. After a few it's weeks. It's on the re-rack. A few weeks you see it's like bit. moved a yeah. little bit. But and we don't have ours bolted down in Massonomics Gym and it just sits on a concrete floor and it slides around a little bit, but it's not a yeah. big deal either. It's I, been in like six different spots in the gym right. so so this allows you flexibility to put it where you move want it to around it. quite a yeah. bit and it, especially on stall mats it's not going to move around that much yeah, you've got actually the perfect fitting rug right underneath of this too this is uh, yep. uh obviously that's what that's made that's for, from um ghost gym in uh down like miami this is is this yeah, out of had, the gym he, he had a couple he had them made and he had a couple extra that he posted okay. so that's cool i was like i'll snag one of those we should get a massonomics one of those made now that i'm looking at that that's i think we need one of those I like that. that's yeah. i think that's you, just an idea the right rug. there we'll mark, mark that down <laughs> in the idea book um so you have a home gym what about the adjustment oh yeah the actual lever, lever adjustment for those that don't know uh combo racks are added feature is they can be easily adjusted. Nathan's flipping it right there. So he was talking about having Quick friends little, friends over here lifting. Yeah. Normally people are taller than me. So right. uh, <laughs> when they squat, they're about five pins higher. So it's just super easy in and out. So it's kind of an advantage if you are lifting with multiple people versus a traditional rack. Um, you've yeah. even talked about using multiple sets of J cups yeah, before or at Massonomics Gym back in the day, we used to literally move the J cups in between every like every yeah. set. We'd have someone hold it. And it's exhausting. You can do it, it's, it works, but this is way more efficient if you're gonna lift with multiple people. Um, so the big question I wanna know about is, what do you think a combo rack in a home gym? You're a power lifter, it seems to make a lot of sense. Like, is this, a, are if, you happy with this if choice? If you power lift, and I mean, probably have more than just yourself working out, it's definitely right. worth it, because the adjustments make all the difference. Otherwise you're right. just moving J cups and weights all over the place. And then you have the advantage. We talked about you're lifting on what you're going to lift at yep. in competition yeah. because there Use is the something to knowing so. about just like how this works like and rack heights, heights and, and all stuff that like stuff. That. You can yeah. kind of be a little bit. It's one less thing ready. to be kind of like nervous yeah. about, I guess, if you're lifting, uh, this is probably the most expensive piece of one of the most expensive pieces of equipment in your gym. You know, it's up there. Be up there with the Rhino. I don't remember yeah. what that was, but yeah. I think this might have been a little more. I would tell you, I don't have a home gym. We have a, you know, a Massonomics gym, but I like the idea. I've always been a, been a fan of combo racks for a home gym because they're so light. You can move it around like we talked about. Um, the versatility of being able to squat and bench out of it both and not have it take up an enormous footprint and then being able to move it around. Like I like it. If you're a power lifter, it makes a lot of sense to me. You give up some things in the way of safety, but a lot of times for an experienced lifter, like how often are you missing a yeah. squat? You're probably not. Right. Probably you not. Know, I mean, I'm not saying that it like never that happens, but like. By yourself, it might happen. Right, but. right. Uh, it could. And, and you then, know, you know, if you're, if you have a small space, you could technically pull the bench, you know, out and deadlift in the same area. Right. So 
One other thing, this is a comp, would be considered a comp bench. Obviously, it's a 12 inch wide uh, pad. What do you think of the pad material? That's another thing of a lot of benches. You know, this is- It's pretty stiff. Yeah, I'd say it's I mean, pretty firm. It's, it's firm, but it, uh, it's overall firm. Like the, the border of it's very firm, but there's a little bit of uh, give, which you kind of want for when you're digging your back into it. Yeah. You almost want there to be just a certain amount of give to help bit. you dig into it, I think. So um, I think it's a good pad. Tommy and you both benched on it today, but um, I haven't actually used it, but I, I like it. Uh, Cause some pads can be weird. Yeah, some are. Well, um, this is what a comp bench is. So right. like, I've had wider and it's easier. And then you go to a comp bench and fail. <laughs> what, one other note on uh, comparables, you know, I'm, I'm not advertising for any of the companies quite honestly in this case, but I do like the TSS one. I think it's probably the right choice for a lot of people that want a combo rack. Other alternatives would be an ER combo, which I think you can maybe get for just slightly less than this. It's similar price range. I think they're probably like the most similar. Yeah, if I, they'd be pretty comparable. I, comparable. I don't know if they have vinyl rollers or not on theirs. I'm not positive, but weight, overall weight's probably somewhat similar too. Another option, I don't know if it's popular, that popular or not, is the Rogue one that yeah. they make and it is so heavy. Significantly bigger. Like you don't really want this piece of equipment monster. to be that overbuilt. I don't, and I think that that's kind of the consensus from a lot of power yeah. lifters. Like if you're using these for meets, especially like meat directors don't want to move those in and out of that space. Uh, you know, we have a ghost one. I think you kind of can still buy a ghost one through Rogue. Don't really know the details on that. Like the reason we have a ghost one is just because they made it really custom, custom and yeah. you know, says Mastonomics, but. For the most part, that is not the right price point for most people <laughs> no. either. Like, not a home gym price point. That would be what um, I would recommend usually. Uh, any other, br there's Titan. Titan. Which um, is a, which is way cheaper than, the, it's just it's, not in the same ballpark, I honestly. I don't think like, it's comparable. No, no, the quality I is. Think, I don't know, I have never used, I think Bells of Steel has one, I've never used that. Yeah, um, and what, uh, Brandon, uh, Basement Brandon, what, oh, like Hansu, Hansu one, Hansu. they make some other ones. Uh, so there is getting to be more yeah. and more options out there of it. Uh, but it still kind of feels like TSS is sort of the standard because of what's yeah. used in competition and everything. Yeah. So overall, uh, what would you give this on a rating from zero to five, five being the best, and you can use half points. So zero to five, Ooh, what do you man. rate the TSS combo? It's tough because, you know, given a five, that's a, that's that's a big score. Yeah, yeah, but that's almost reserved for nothing to zero yeah, to five. Yeah. So we'll go 4.5. I think that's because fair. I don't have much for, I don't really have complaints about it. Right. I, I mean, it's done everything I needed to. It feels I, like it'll stand up to anything. I don't know. The how finish you, on it's great. Like it still looks basically like brand new. Um, I like this color. I think four and a half is probably pretty fair. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, I have it's, it's not mine. I haven't used it personally that much, but I think four and, a, four and a half is right where this stands as far as the combo goes. Four and a half out of five, you heard it here first on the Massonomics channel. Uh, check out all of our other equipment reviews. We got new videos coming out every single week. Uh, we've got a, a whole gym tour of everything here at the Build Fast Formula HQ to make sure to check that video out. Leave us a comment. Let us know what combo racks you like. Would you put a combo in your home gym? Make sure to subscribe to the Massonomics YouTube channel. BuildFastFormula.com, 10% off discount code Massonomics. See you next time.